life in prison. That is the sentence for three white men who chased and killed Ahmed Arbery. Today, a judge denied any chance of parole for the father and son who armed themselves and initiated that deadly pursuit and robbery. ABC's Elwin Lopez is in Georgia tonight. The three men convicted of Ahmad Arbery's death back in court today, a judge handing down the sentences this afternoon. Malice murder, life without the possibility of parole. Travis and Gregory McMichael, life in prison without the possibility of parole. For William Rody Bryan, life in prison with a possibility of parole. Please give all three defendants who are responsible for the death of my son the maximum punishment in this court. They each have no remorse and do not deserve any leniency. Travis McMichael, his father Gregory McMichael, and their neighbor William Rody Bryan were found guilty in the unarmed black joggers murder. Arbery's mother is asking the judge to hand down the maximum punishment. They were fully committed to their crimes. Let them be fully committed for the consequences. So if life without parole is a sentence that is held for only the worst of the worst, it simply can't be a sentence for a person who never intended that tragic result that took place on February 23rd. In February of 2020, the McMichaels chased the 25-year-old jogger down. Brian also joining in. It was his cell phone that captured this moment Travis McMichael shot and killed Arbery. Um, I had a future that was taken from him in an instance of violence. He was robbed of his life pleasures, big and small. All right, and this is not the end in this case. The McMichaels and Brian are still facing federal charges on civil rights violations. That case begins next month.